Hello and welcome to New Parenting Training. So today I'm going to talk about this bassinet called Snoo. This uberly expensive bassinet. At the time of filming, this bassinet is almost selling at $1,700. So today I'm going to break this video into three parts. First, I'm going to talk about the assembly, the installation. Second, I'm going to talk about the functionality and how you can use this. And third, I'm going to share with you all experience with this bassinet and some of the reason why you should and should not buy this bassinet for your kid. Welcome to our channel. If you are first time here and if you find this video to be informative and helpful, please give us a like and also subscribe. Now first thing first, let's talk about the installation. This product by all means is not light. So if you want to move it up and down from room to room, make sure you have two people with you when you are doing that in case you might damage it. Now this product is extremely easy to install and all you have to do is just open it up and you take out the bassinet and install the four legs on the bottom. And the four legs are color coded. They have the blue, you put on the blue side and red on the red. So that way you will not mess up the orientation of the legs. Now some other content they come with is you have one mattress and one water resistant cover, one organic cotton sheet, three organic cotton snoo sacks, small, medium, and large, and the power cord. The installation itself is extremely simple. So most of the stuff that the baby is sleeping on, you'll be able to take it apart and go wash it. Now for safety reasons, the snoo mesh on top of it, which is the mesh here, is not removable. However, you can easily spot clean snoo using soft cloth with warm water and mild soap. Now at the end of the bed, there's a zipper that will allow you to access the, to clean between the inner and outer mesh wall. And just know that don't ever use bleach or abrasive cleaners. To clean the snoo sacks and sheets, you just put into a machine, machine wash with similar color item in warm or cold water. Never use hot water or bleach. Tumble dry on a low heat setting and make sure you dry them completely. All right, so next let's talk about the functionality or how to use this thing. So once you put the baby inside the snoo, you can hit the button here. They only have one on off button. Once you press it, it will turn to the the light will turn blue and you will hear sound or noise coming out. And it's kind of soothing sound or white noise to soothe the baby. Now you could pre long press the button and now it's going to the next level or the next mode. And this is in purple. Now purple is like driving around in the neighborhood. As you can see the snoo inside is not moving. So they have five different modes. You have the blue, purple, and green, yellow, and pink. So if you long press again, it's now in green. Green is like taking a fast hike with your baby in a sling. So now everything inside is moving a little bit faster. So this bassinet has a smart function where it can detect whether or not the baby needs soothing or uh, it requires parenting help. When your baby is in the snoo and start fussing, because a lot of time what happens is baby when they're fussed, they don't really want to wake up. They just want to be cuddled or to be held. Now the snoo can do all that by sensing whether or not the baby is sleeping or fussing. So once snoo is detect the baby is fussing, then it will turn to a different mode to, to try to calm the baby. Once the baby is calmed down, then it will turn back to the base setting, which is the blue setting back to the baseline. Now if your baby cries last for more than two to three minutes long, then the snoo will automatically shut down and the button will here will be red to indicate that it will require parental assistance. Snoo is great to help baby, to calm the baby and rock them to sleep. But if the baby really needs to wake up, such as eating, then it will stop rocking the baby and the parents need to come and pick the baby up. I strongly suggest you to download the app called Snoo. By using the app itself, you can adjust the volume or the level. Once you go beyond level two, you can actually adjust the volume level. Now what we have noticed is that the, our baby sleep really well in the purple mode. So if we want to put the baby to sleep in the purple mode, 
we just we can also lock the machine so then the snoo will continue to rock the baby in the purple mode and it will not go into any other mode now the app itself also have a daily log to you can actually see how long the baby has slept and it's quite useful right now it's monday so the week just started but if i look at the monthly you will see here uh, the level go up and down quite quite a lot so we can actually see how long the baby has slept as far as for the setting and there are stuff that you can just mess around to see you can actually set the motion limiter and also weaning this bassinet is only suitable for infants up to six months so at some point you need to move transition the baby into a crib now let me give you some backdrop as far as uh, why we end up getting this machine and whether or not this machine is useful for you. So with our first kit, we were fortunate enough to find a 9 nanny that was able to come in the initial 30 to 40 days period to help us out. What was really great about this because our first kid ended up having caught it and that 9 nanny was able to hold the baby for hours on end in the middle of the night to help out with that. I was able to get a good night's sleep and my wife was able to just only feed the baby and then go back to sleep and rest. So the night nanny was extremely helpful for the first 30 to 40 days. Fast forward to our second kid. We were trying to get the same night nanny, but unfortunately she was already booked for the entire year. Uh, and we weren't able to find anybody else to come in to help out at the nighttime. My wife suggests that perhaps we should look into this new machine. My initial thought was, this thing costs $1,700 and we can only use for six months. I was thinking, uh, -uh I'm not going to spend that much money for that short period of time. But then my wife break it down the cost to me. Uh, so with the 990, that period of time with our first kid costs about $4,000. So imagine that this machine has $1,700, but it lasts for six months. The 9 nanny costs $4,000 and only lasts for 30 days. After we break down the cost, it was a no-brainer. Uh, we should definitely get this machine. So after we got it, one of the main concern my wife had was the colic. Because our first kid had a colic, she suspect that our second one might have colic as well. And lo and behold, our second kid did end up having colic. After we coming back from the hospital, the first two weeks, everything was great. Uh, we were able to put the baby in the sack and then remove the sack and to feed the baby in the middle of the night and then just put the baby back in. So that went really well for the first two weeks. Also just the fact that this machine is easy to strap a baby in. You don't have to waste time to swallow the baby and do all those stuff in case that you might even wake up the baby. So that was really helpful and then in the middle of the night. First couple of weeks went really well, but then our second kid also developed colic episodes as well. So that also became a really big headache for us. Now with the snoo, it really helped to put the baby down, rock the baby into sleep and try to soothe the baby when the baby was trying to awake, but it's not fully awake. But it's no good in terms of soothing a baby when the baby is having a colic episode. If you already know that your kid has colic, then this snoo might not work at all. It definitely did not work for our kid when she is having colic episode in the middle of the night. With that being said, will I still recommend this machine? It, yes, to an extent, uh, because the fact that how expensive this machine is. Now, there are some ways to go around with it. For one, uh, because how expensive it is, it has a secondary market for the used snoo product. So you could, uh, in the secondary market, to find used one at half of the price. Now, my wife even read some blog that someone able to get a second for eight nine hundred dollars and resell it back after they are done with it at the same price so essentially they didn't pay anything to use this new for that six month period aside from that you can also rent the machine so the rental is between 50 some odd dollars to 100 some odd dollars so it depends so because of that it makes the new machine a little bit more affordable but it definitely not for the thing of heart just because how expensive it is so this is a great machine to have if you don't have any other means of getting help such as a you know, family member or friends or even night nanny to come so having this machine really helps out a lot for us so this is our experience with the snoo uh, my takeaway is if you know that your baby does not have any colic episode at nighttime 
or if the coloring episodes only happen in the daytime, then you should definitely try this snoo out. It helps tremendously for us to have an ease of mind and also give us a break and rest as well. Anyway, so if you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.